السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مرحبا بكم أيها الطلاب الكرام اليوم سنبدأ بالدرس الثالث الجزء الرابع Today we will take lesson 3 part 4 We left off giving you guys some homework where it said اقرأ واكتب on page 15 So if you open up to page 15 you were supposed to have اقرأ you're supposed to have read and uh, wrote. Let's go ahead and read those together quickly. And then we can move on to the part three, the Tamrinu Thalith. A Tamrinu Thalith, the third practice. It says here, Al Maktabu Maksurun. The desk is broken. And across it says, Al Mudarrisu Jadidun. Al Mudarrisu is what? teacher and jadidun is new these are important words so make sure that you are reviewing them writing them down al-qamisu wasikhun al-qamisu wasikhun the shirt is dirty number four al-labanu baridun what's the meaning of laban meaning of laban is milk and we said usually uh, it refers to the yogurt milk or that buttermilk. And halib is the normal milk that you drink. Barid means cold. And number five, al-masjidu maftuhun. We know the meaning of masjid. What's the meaning of maftuh? Open. Number six, al-hajaru kabirun. The stone is large. Number seven, al-labanu baridun, the milk is cold. Wal-ma'u harrun, and the water, al-ma'u har. Al-imamu jalisun, wal-mudarrisu waqifun. The imam is sitting, and the mudarris is standing. Now remember what we said about that scale, it's very important that if you get a word that is on the fa'il scale and we say on this scale it follows the same lettering structure and the harakat structure not that it has the same letters but where there's an alif that breaks the normal scale of the word because the first letter is usually referred to as the fa' of the kalima and the second letter is usually referred to as the ayn of the kalima. And the lam, the third letter, is called uh, the lam of the kalima. So now we have this alif that breaks that normal structure of something like, let's take uh, jalisun. Ja li sun. I'll make this just a little bit darker. There we go. At the expense of the ugly penmanship. Ja li sun. So the fa of the kalima has the fatha. That's the jim. This alif breaks the normal structure. The ayn, which is the second letter, which is here, it's the lam. It has a kesra, that has a kesra. And the third letter, which has dhammatain, or it's going to have the uh, whatever it is doing in the sentence. If it's doing something, it'll be marfu'. Something is happening to it, it will be uh, mansub. And we'll go on and take that a little later. This is not a verb. This is a noun. How do we know that? It has the tanween. What's the verb? The verb is jalasa. That's the verb. And we're not taking verbs yet, but I just want to show you how you take a verb and make it that somebody is doing that verb, right? And uh, it becomes a noun. So, just to point your attention towards that, about waqifun and jalisun. Next, we go to number nine, and it says, al-qamaru ba'idun. Al-Qamaru Ba'idun, which means the moon is far. 
Number 10 is al mindilu nadifun, which means the handkerchief is clean. And now we get to the exercise or the tamreen, the practice of today, which is imla al faragh, fill in the faragh. The word faragh means blank. Fi ma yali, in what comes next. Bi wadi, by placing al kalima, al munasiba, the appropriate word, min al kalimat, from atalia, from the next words. So that whole sentence means fill in the blanks with the words that come next. We have Jamil, Wasihun, Maftuhun, Harun, Thaqilun, Khafifun. Let's look at number one Al Hajar. What can we say? Is the Hajar beautiful? Is the Hajar dirty? Is it open? Is it hot? Is it heavy? Is it Khafif? Is it light? Heavy sounds like a good one. So let's say. Al-hajaru thaqilun. That seems like an appropriate sentence. Number two, al-babu, the door. Al-babu, what? Jamil, the door is beautiful. The door is wasikhun. The door is maftuhun. The door is open. Sounds right. Let's use the door is open. Al-babu maftuhun. That seems good. Number three, Al Qamaru, Al Qamaru, the moon, Jamilun. That's the first word there. It works for me. What do you guys think? Let's do that. Number, that was number three. Number four, Al Waraqu. What's Waraq mean? What's the meaning of Waraq? Paper. Is paper hot? Is paper heavy? Is paper thin? Or not thin, light? Khafif. Khafifun. Al waraqu khafifun. Let's use that one. The paper is light. Al mindilu. Is mindil the handkerchief? Is that a clean one or a dirty one? Al mindilu wasikhun. Because that's the only word we have there. It's dirty. The, pen, the mindil, the handkerchief, is dirty. Next, number six, we have al labanu. The milk. Milk is warm, milk is hot. You say al-labanu, har. The milk is hot. And that's exercise number four. Looks like we're still doing okay on time. Imla al-faragh fi ma yali. Bi wad'i kalimatin munasibatin. By placing an appropriate word. So we'll take this exercise. And then we should conclude for this lesson. Now, number one, Nalif. Number one, it says Nalif, which means clean. And what's a good word that we can use for that? Mindil, Masjid, Baytun. You could put anything there. You could say Al Baytu Nalifun. Okay? Or you can say, let's use the handkerchief. That seems like a good one. Or qamis, perhaps. Shirt. al qamisu nadifun. The shirt is clean. Number two, maksurun. Something is broken. What's some of the words that we learned that would be appropriate to use in that sentence? What can we say? Maksur. Hmm. Take a little moment here and look at what we have. How about if we say Al-Qalamu, the pen. Al-Qalamu maksurun. Number three, is there a juice or a drink that we can say is cold? How do you say water? Ma'un. So let's say the water. Al-Ma'u, the water. Baridun, the water is cold. Number four, Qareeb. What can we say about near? Qaribun. The house is near. The store is near. The masjid is near. Let's use the masjid is near. Ad-dukkanu qaribun. I'm sorry, I said dukkan, store. The masjid. Al-masjidu qaribun. The masjid is near. Number five. Far. What's far away? Ba'id. 
Be'id is far. What can we say that will tell us that something is far away? What, what do, would you see? Is there something nearby you can look at? A book? Uh, let's use a book. Al-Kitabu Ba'idun. The book is far. Waqif. Standing. Who's standing? The teacher? Let's say the teacher. Al-Mudarrisu. Waqifun. The teacher is standing. How do you say Jalis? Sitting. Right? What, what, what can we say with that sentence? Al-Imamu Jalisun. The Imam is sitting. Number eight, Kabir. What's Kabir? What is it? You can say, Ar-Rajulu, the man. The man, Ar-Rajulu Kabir. The man is large. The man is big. And number nine, Qadim. I don't think we've taken Qadim yet, did we? I think actually it might have come up. Let me check real quick. Oh, yes, we did. Qadim did come up with Jadid. What's Qadim? What is old? Over here, we took that the pen was old a while back. They said, Al-Qalamu Qadimun. We can probably say, The Himar, The Hisan, Let's say the, uh, let's say al-maktab, the desk. Al-maktab qadimun. The desk is old. And the last one, jadid, what can we use for jadid? Let's say al-mindilu. The handkerchief is jadid. So we're going to go ahead and stop here for today. Make sure you review. Don't go to the next lesson until you comprehend this one. And that's kind of the reason why we make them a little bit shorter, is so that you can understand that I don't want to move past this part unless I know it. I need to know these 10 to 15 minutes worth of information. So, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teach us that which will benefit us and make us benefit from that which we learn. Wa akhiru da'wana, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa ila liqa. Assalamu alaikum.